I'm sorry, I can't. Don't hate me. I think they're over it by now. Something about the being in the age of texting and, and Tinder where like a handwritten post-it note is actually kind of old-fashioned and quaint. You know, you put some effort into that. Can I go home now? <laughs> there is no greater sound than your friends laughing at your new boyfriend's jokes. Easily, I think my favorite moment was getting to do uh, the, the scene with, uh, with the ladies. Uh, the, he's just not that into it. Because um, there weren't a lot of boyfriends that got to do the scenes with everybody. Usually the boyfriends were in the boyfriend ghetto and you do, uh, you know, and your stuff would only be with Sarah Jessica or Cynthia or whoever you were. But So that was, that was kind of cool. I felt like I was uh, an insider on the show when I got to sit in on that. All right, I I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. He's just not that into you. I knew when I read it, it was a, it was a really good line um, and it was a fun scene to play. Uh, it, it's funny that like it had such a life of its own that I don't think people a lot of people don't even necessarily remember that I said it uh, they're more likely to remember the post-it note even though I wasn't in the episode where we we saw the post-it note you know as the ghost of Burger Pass um, but they're both great great moments uh, and I'm proud to have been a part of that show no woman who works at W magazine and lives on Perry Street would be caught dead at a hip downtown restaurant wherein a scrunchie! The scrunchie, the scrunchie was good. I think scrunchie stock plummeted after we did that. A lot, some people like lost their, their shirts on that. I got death threats from like, uh, you know, scrunchie nation. It's all right. It's come back in somewhere. I hear they're making a comeback. I was at a Lakers basketball game courtside, don't ask me why, and uh, on an inbound, Kobe Bryant went to in inbound the ball, but right before he did, he kind of glanced over and, and did a double take to Burger. Uh, and the Lakers were down like six or seven too, so I wouldn't think that hit that, you know, his mind. And I didn't think Burger would be the guy that he recognized from. So I, I think maybe his wife was in charge of the remote control at that point, you know. Um, but he knew the show. I'm sorry, I was just trying to be funny. Well, it wasn't funny. You know, a lot of Sex in the City was about why this guy isn't right and why this guy isn't right, which is, can feel like you're not trying, you know? I thought uh, it was fun to do a relationship where they're actually both trying really hard and they're just not cut out, they can't do it, they, you know? They fall apart, or he falls apart. It's a good day. Yes, it is. I came in, I think it was season six, so, uh, you know, they'd been doing, it, it was a well-oiled machine. Um, it was the easiest job in the world because the, the ladies did all the heavy, heavy lifting and uh, you know the boyfriends would swan in for a scene or two here and there and then have the rest of the week off in New York City. So it was, uh, it was a really fun job. You know, I, I'd probably team Aiden uh, just because I think that's, it, yeah, that's when I started watching the show was those seasons. And, uh, but uh, after that, I don't know. today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives